Hello guys, today we will talk about financial instruments. This is the lesson 2 of trading for beginners. Today I will show you the list of what you can trade and what markets are there for you available. But before we dive in into the markets and before I will show you all list, I wanted to show you financial instruments because this is all under financial instruments. So first we need to understand what financial instruments are. Financial instrument is a monetary contract between parties. It it is an asset or package of capital that we can trade, we can buy and sell it. Another thing which you should know guys, that financial instruments are divided into two bigger groups or they have two types of uh, financial instruments, cash instruments and derivative instruments. Cash instruments are equity instruments, bonds, loans, borrowings, receivables and payables, deposits of cash and some of you might start looking here in these financial instruments where are stocks. So stock are under equity instruments. Derivative instruments are forwards and futures, options, swaps, caps and collars, financial guarantees, letters of credit and derivative instruments are those whose value derives from the value of either indexes or interest rates. And here we go, what to trade. So biggest market in the world is Forex market and if you are new to trading and you haven't heard about Forex, Forex stands for foreign exchange, this means that you can trade on Forex markets different currency pairs. You can trade Euro to Dollar, you can trade Dollar to Great British Pound, Dollar to Yuan. This is a huge market and this is the biggest market currently out there where you can trade different currency pairs and that is Forex. And then we have derivatives as you remember from previous slides I was talking about derivatives. These are contracts for differences and all these green ones as you can see these are pretty much markets. So first one is Forex market and then we get into derivatives. Derivatives is not a market however it is derivatives market but under derivatives market there is futures market, options market, swaps and CFDs. Swaps are generally for Forex and for huge companies. So if you are new to trading guys as a trader you should know or at least have a good understanding about each of these markets which you can trade so you can if you are a trader, if you want to be a professional trader, obviously you want to know your field and you want to know all different tools or different markets which you can trade. So there is a futures market, there is options market and CFDs market and this is under derivatives and this is contracts for differences. You can uh, have contracts for differences pretty much on all assets. For example, imagine uh, if you are trading Bitcoin, CFD for Bitcoin or futures for Bitcoin, then you you are not actually trading real asset. You are not buying that Bitcoin, but you are trading only the change in price. Where if the price will go up, you will be making money. If you are go longing, and if price will be going down, then and you are shorting, you will be making money. So this is derivatives. You are not actually buying actual asset, and you are not selling or only owing that particular asset or you for example in CFDs you can also or contracts for differences or futures you can trade different companies like Apple or Google but you are not actually owing particular stocks of that company you are just trading difference in prices guys and then there is options options is much more complicated but you should also learn about options and if you want I can create a separate video in some in future about options where I explain it in greater detail but all these futures, options, swaps, CFDs, like I said, they are derivatives. And these are markets are pretty much a contracts for difference. And if you are trading derivatives, then you are not trading actual assets. You are not actually buying and selling actual assets, so like for example in stocks and share markets. If you are trading stocks and share markets, you are actually getting a stock. You are owner of the stock. You are owner of that particular company which owns that stock, whether it's Apple, whether it's Google so as you can get dividends from that company on buying stocks next one is stocks and shares market where you are buying company stocks and if company doesn't have a stocks this is considered to be a private company and when company decides to go public they are doing IPO or initial public offering and they are issuing stocks and this means people who owe these stocks owe 
pieces or small pieces of that company. This means that, for example, Apple is a public owned company or Facebook, it is also a public owned company. This is not like uh, Mark Zuckerberg owns the company because there is a lot of stockholders which all of that company. But Mark Zuckerberg in Facebook, he is CEO of Facebook. Then we have ETFs, exchange traded funds. And this is more a little bit more complicated, but it is an investment fund that attracts an index of a commodity or bonds guys this means that these are packages you are pretty much investing in packages there could be like for example s p 500 packages you could be investing this is uh, one uh, etfs pretty much means that there is a package of different stocks or different bonds and they all make up profits or losses of the, if you are investing in etfs and mutual funds and index funds is pretty much the same only mutual funds are controlled and index funds are controlled by indexes and most etfs track an index such as stock index or bond index so etfs are tracked by by index uh, and by markets they are not controlled actively guys and there is differences between ETFs and mutual funds trading because for example if you want to invest in or invest in mutual funds or if you want to trade mutual funds you have to have I believe there was 3000 minimum investment however in ETFs you can trade them there is about hundred dollars and so on and so forth where mutual funds are 3000 so as another uh, difference in investing in mutual funds and ETFs is that in mutual funds whenever you are investing you are getting only uh, your mutual fund which you are investing only after the market is closing or at the market closing at the end of the day but if you want to know more about ETFs and mutual funds and index funds what it is and what exactly means you can do a research on your own but in this video like I said guys I'm just providing you overview of all these things because like I said I will not be able to explain you everything in detail about all these assets which you can trade but you will have a list of them which you can go out and you can research and then we go to cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrencies is the market which i am trading i'm trading only bitcoin and i like these markets in comparison to traditional markets traditional markets you can trade only during the day because opening hours are during the day where cryptocurrencies you can trade all the time so as volatility in cryptocurrencies especially in bitcoin is huge so you can make huge profits and that's also why I trade and I have chosen to trade cryptocurrencies firstly because I can trade it 24 7 and secondly there is the huge volatility however in some stocks there is also some stocks are volatile so as in forex foreign exchange currencies are volatile next one we move to commodities and the example of commodities are oil gold silver copper and platinum so this is commodities and you can trade them and then we have bonds and contract between two parties companies or governments issue bonds because they need to borrow large amounts of money and here you can think about uh, USA bonds where for example China owes a lot of USA bonds and these are bonds which is all issued by a huge company for example or a government and when government issues bonds it is to collect money from people and when they are issuing bonds they promise to buy back those bonds after some period of time for more expensive per price and there could be different circumstances they could pay also a dividend for bondholders it could be once or twice a year or three times a year and so on and so forth this is what you can trade and you can do bigger research on all these forex trading futures trading options trading however for if you are a new and i believe that many of you who will be watching for this video you are new traders i wouldn't recommend you to go into forex market because it is rather complicated for new people or new beginners in trading and swaps is only for institutional investors so as I wouldn't recommend you to jump in straight away into options however I would recommend you to read about all these and study more about these markets but don't jump into them however in future I could create a more detailed uh, video on all these explaining how they work and exactly what these are all about for, future, for beginner traders, I would recommend trading futures or CFDs, for example, or stocks 
or cryptocurrencies because these are the one of the easiest to trade and also you can read about commodities bonds mutual funds index funds what are differences in trading etfs and mutual funds so yes guys this is it for this video if you found it useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video